Hello. Welcome back to the Jan Spiller Show. We're here on chataboutit.com uh, every Tuesday night between 9 and 11 p.m. Eastern Time. And you can also access us uh, through my website, janspiller.com. There's a button on the homepage, and you can come straight to the show. You can also subscribe to, pro- to podcasts of the show. Those are free, and hear uh, repeats of every uh, Tuesday night show. Okay, so we're back on the air. Oh, and the number to call to participate is 877-242-8212. And if you don't get through, the number to call to participate in a future show is 212-787-STAR. And the way we're doing this is some of the some of the charts or some of the callers are spontaneous right in the studio and somewhere from last week or the week before of people who you know called that weren't able to get in and are, are then booked for a future show. Okay, so now we have uh, Dunn, is that right? Is, like are you on the line, Dunn? Dun? Hello? Yes, it's Dune, like Sand Dune. Dune, okay, great. Beautiful, beautiful. Thanks. Well, how are, how are you? Yeah, that is, that is actually beautiful. I love Sand Dunes. <laughs> It's been too long since I've been by the ocean. Oh, <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> um, so where are you calling from, Dune? I'm calling from Hampton Bays in New York. It's out uh, towards the Hamptons. East oh, end. so you are by the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh, Twice thank you. Day. Day. <laughs> you know, I can feel it. I am so, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Well, now, uh, what have you called about tonight? Well, I have a lot of major changes happening in my life. Um, I, I just lost my job. I work for the state of New York, and they've just... Uh, shut us down uh-huh. um, for budget cuts, and I'm a teacher, professor, and wow. uh, and so that's been very difficult. I uh, I have been offered, I've got a couple of questions in, regarding my chart. Um, I have been offered a really decent buyout, um, you know, to give up my job, mm-hmm. which I'm leaning towards. Um, I'm wondering, A, um, there seems to be a possibility of a lawsuit in order to get more money. Um, so I'm wondering if I should do that, and B, if I should look for another teaching job or if I should trust my writing career, because I am a writer, I'm a published author, I have two books out, and um, and I'm just wondering, you know, in this economy, if I can really trust, I'm working on a novel right now, if I can, you know, trust, trust you know, that that can carry me, or if I should continue my uh, real job. <laughs> Which is the teaching? Professor, yeah. Professor. Of I, English and, and creative Okay, writing. where I'm confused is, didn't you say you got fired from your current... Oh, you have a choice. Well, uh, yeah, it's, they've closed our campus. And so I could continue teaching, but it's teaching freshman English, which is something I did 12 years ago. It's a backslide. So I'm choosing, okay. to, I'm choosing to leave this university and look for other work or finish my novel right now well you certainly you're in a period of huge change right now i mean huge change you're even thinking of moving aren't you i'm sorry are you thinking even of moving i am yeah i mean i my partner is from europe Mm -hmm. and uh so we have been considering whether or not to use this opportunity to um take off and go to europe where uh, the economy is not much better Mm-hmm. Um, or to stay here. Mm-hmm. Well, Dune, you are in a period of experiencing so much change. I don't think you're going to be able to to stay where you are regardless. I mean, part of you is just, you know, you haven't felt the full impact yet. You've been feeling it quite a bit for the last six months. Right. Like kind of an urge inside of yourself to go through some kind of transformation, to be reborn in some new way. Yeah. Uh, Pluto's in Capricorn right now. So especially people born at the beginning of Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, and um, Libra are experiencing, uh, those signs are experiencing a lot of upheaval and a desire to go through. And what is life if it isn't becoming more alive, if it isn't by letting go of the old? You know, and that's what you're feeling like doing is letting go of the old. Uh, and if, so it's a feeling. It's not just a matter of practicality. The issue here is, is one of trust. Um, and what to trust, and and when to analyze, and when to trust. In your case, when you trust that there's a higher power behind your life, right. suddenly you see the plan of which way to go. When you focus on the plan, you get confused. Oh. 
You see? Oh, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would recommend is that you start trusting your own higher power and an, in that context, analyze and make a plan. Okay. All right? It's, it's ironic because it's like in, by trusting in the intangible, you get a sense of practical tangibility. Right. So yeah. sort of like the last caller to go with my gut. Um, my intuition. What feels right? Well, for you, when you're going with what I was calling a higher power, mm -hmm. it's like almost like looking up for guidance. You know? Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Right. So it's it's not like what your gut instincts say. It's more it's more of a understanding thing or a it's an understanding thing. It's it's a mental uh, recog visionary thing. Right. And it's usually followed by a lot of serenity. <laughs> yeah. 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 What about the fear? I'm just sort of panicked by the idea of making these huge changes. You know, I've just turned fifty. Mm -hmm. Um. It's just, a, you know, it's really scary to make enormous changes in one's life, at, mm -hmm. you know, halfway through it or more. Yeah. Um, I think fear has been something you've worked with your whole life. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, there was always some reason to be afraid, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe because you were so young that you couldn't have something work out. Maybe because you're middle-aged and so now... What about the future? There, there's always some reason to become fretful and anxious. So uh, in your case, it's more like the pa choosing the path of anxiety or choosing the path of trust. And we're not talking about trusting a person, okay? Mm -hmm. We're talking about, again, trusting your sense of the higher power leading you. When you were telling me about your situation, mm -hmm. um, I looked at your chart. And, mm -hmm. of course, I'm always looking at the chart. <laughs> and... Um, I looked at the amount of changes happening right now and that lie ahead, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, you know, she's getting a real blessing. The universe has stepped in to take care of her situation before she has no choice but to change because she can't stand the pressure of the, st of the stagnant status quo. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, so you really have a lot of protection, Dune. A lot of help is what Good. I'm saying. I need it. <laughs> yes, you're right, you do. Yeah. And that will calm the anxiety. So start trusting that, okay. and then you'll see your situation. And just know that your temperament has a tendency to be anxious, and it will create things to be anxious about. It's really free-floating anxiety. Right. And it comes from analyzing things too closely and then getting confused. So that's just a mechanism in the back of your psyche. Right. And it's not your friend. Okay? Okay. All righty. Well, good luck to you. Thank, Thank you for you so calling much. tonight. Yeah. All right. Cheers. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is the Jan Spiller Show. We're here every Tuesday night between 9 and 11 p.m. on chataboutit.com. And you also can get the, you know, reach the website by going to janspiller.com. And you can hit the button there on the home page, and it'll take you right to the site. Okay, so the number to call to participate is 877-242-8212. And if you don't get through on that line, you can uh, speak with someone about a time in the future on the show at 212-787-STAR. So we have our next caller on the line. Is, is Eleanor here? Hi, this is Eleanor. 